Hey everyone, how's it going? We're playing some more Pal World. Today I'm planning to do a lot of meteorite drops, a lot of upgrades, and a lot of breeding. I need better items for these raids. Alright guys, I have got the drop rates open for the oil rig. I just want to show you guys how crazy rare some of these drops are. This quad missile launcher for the legendary schematic... This has to be the rarest item in the game with a 0.0046% drop chance. Now, I don't know if these numbers are super, like, verified. Like, I haven't done studies on this, okay? Like, I don't know who did this. But these numbers seem pretty, like, fair to me considering the talk that I've seen online and in forums. Yeah, these seem pretty fair. And again, let's just kind of scroll through the chances of all these items. So obviously, things like... The lotuses and cores you basically always get them some training manuals you always get some of these blue and green schematics they're like one two percent but we head over to the top to the legendaries and the legendaries that matter so yeah there's like you know the handgun musket double barrel i've gotten like one or two of these yeah they're like 0.28 percent but i i've gotten them like once every 15 openings but dude this quad missile launcher schematic i don't i don't know someone did the math and you guys can do the math for yourself and you know i'm not going to be a st st statistician online here but i think it it'll take you an average of like over 2500 openings to get one quad missile launcher i think someone i heard in the comments basically say that you can play for 10 hours every day save scumming these these big oil chests and you will have it will take you one month to find it 10 hours a day save scumming and it'll take you one month to find this and that is just this and i think someone else basically said in like in a different term of like you could play every day not for 10 hours like less than 10 hours and it'll take you basically multiple months of playing basically every day to find this if you're just i think that's without safe scumming uh if you guys don't know what safe scumming is that's when like you save right before you open it you open it if you don't get what you want you exit it out of your game you alt f4 or you use task manager and you jump back in before it saves and you open it again and again and again so essentially you can open a chest about every minute or so if you save scum it'll take you about a month for 10 hours a day if you don't save scum it'll take you months literal months you could find yourself going into the next update without even finding this quad missile launcher that's how rare this is um and again we won't even talk about the even the purple one is 0.02 percent um all of these the flamethrower grenade launcher laser gatling missile launcher they're all again 0, 0.0 something percent ah uh, so they're rare i think the rarest thing we found so far is this. We did find the purple missile launcher, and that was at 0.231%. We also did find the purple plus steel armor. Where's that? Maybe we found that out of a normal chest. I don't think that... Because this is, I think, specifically for the big chest. I think we might have found that out of a normal chest, which is still pretty rare. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys context of what the drop rates are like. I think it's pretty interesting. If you guys have a better website or a better source of exact percentages, feel free to let me know. But currently, this is what I'm working off of. Let's go ahead and do one thing that I've been meaning to do for a long time. The quad missile launcher requires missiles, and these missiles require these circuit boards. And these circuit boards require a lot of crystal, and currently, there is no crystal farm. So... We're going to quickly make a temporary crystal base. And this is the best place that I found personally as far as the number of crystal nodes. You can see that there's like a good 9 or 10 here. Now this place sucks because it's on a slope, but oh well. So yeah, like I said, this is just, it's great for crystal and basically nothing else. You can't do anything else here but crystal because the slope is so bad. But like I said, this is temporary I just need to get like 10,000 crystal just to have enough to really make a whole bunch of missiles. So uh, I'm going to put down a wooden platform. Let's go ahead and put down the pal base. Making a quick 
crystal base. I'll AFK here a few times and then likely I will move the base again. When we make another base, when we're done here, I will be making a breeding base. So right now I do have some breeding space in my other bases, but I do want to make a specific breeding base because I know two videos ago, right before the Blazimut Ryu raid, we did some breeding, but we got to do some more. Specifically, I need to get raid jet ragons. I have speed jet ragons, but I need some raid ones. I also need more Jormantides. Uh, I also want to make some good Orzerks, and I also want to make some Mining Blazamuts too. Uh, I'll probably just try to do some oil rig farming while I'm AFKing here and there. I'll try to pop in to my computer every hour or so and try to do a raid. Yeah, man, these oil rig drops are crazy rare. I, I don't know what to do, man. I feel like I need these legendaries for the ultra fights, but... Looking at, like, their drop rates, man, I, I, dude, I don't know. Okay, let's just do a quick big oil rig chest. Now, like I said, I will likely have to do hundreds, if maybe not thousands, of these chests. I'm not going to show every single one on camera, because that will have to just be a 24-hour video. Now, from these meteorites, I do get these elixirs. Let's go ahead and drink up, increase some of our stats. I did find a couple of nice schematics from the oil rig so far. Not endgame ones, but some decent ones. And a lot of them require the cloth. Or no, the polymer, sorry. And to make the polymer, I need high quality pal oil. So I went ahead and I bought some oil. We're going to come over here. We're going to turn that into polymer. There we go. So we'll go ahead and have that running while we can. I always need a little bit of carbon fiber. I've been trying to make this as much as I can. Okay, guys, we're also going to make some grenade ammo. Again, uh, some of you guys told me that the grenade launcher is actually pretty good. So hopefully I can get a grenade launcher schematic and maybe we can start running that as like our main attack weapon. All right, here is another oil rig chest. Fingers crossed, maybe, maybe. Like I said, not likely, but maybe. Flamethrower, eh. Another rig, another chest, another day, another dollar, another hour. And likely another failed chest, but you never know. All right, let's go ahead. Another chest, again, another, another half hour. Let's see if we can get some luck. Maybe, 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 missile, nothing, okay. Okay, here's the other thing that I want to do. I need to do some meat hunting. And you guys might uh, made a weird look. Yeah, I need meat, okay? Because uh, some of these elixirs, I can craft them, but they need meat. So, we're looking for uh, demand meat. We're looking for mammal rest meat. We're looking for the deer meat. The Okay, here we go. Uh, burden elixir. We have enough for two. Let's go ahead and wait, because this is going to take a minute. All right. Also, kelp sea. I do need some kelp sea meat too. All right, burden elixirs are done. Uh, now we need to make a stamina elixir and a vital elixir. I think I can make one of each. Okay. So both of them are done. Let's go ahead and drink up vital burden. Yummy, yummy. So there we go. We're increasing our stats slowly but surely. Now here's what I want to do. I found a couple of new cool schematics so why don't we go ahead and make them along with grabbing our dog coin i think we might be able to get the next accessory slot all right so cold resistant plus steel armor three that is really good and missile launcher purple schematic this could be interesting too let's go ahead and take both of those a triple check I don't, yeah i don't think there's anything else um, and again, I haven't even done a whole lot of raiding yet for the oil rig. Really, it's after this video where we're going to ramp it up. Okay, we got some circuit boards. So, cold resistant plus steel armor. This is good. Yeah. I'm telling you, that I think this is the best find so far. The normal common quad missile launcher is pretty good. But I think as far as rarity, this cold resistant plus steel armor is a little bit more rare. It's not the best. There's still a legendary version. But that's a pretty good drop, actually. 
This is almost the best armor in the game. The only thing better is the legendary version of it, which I'm not going to find. And then we also have the missile launcher in purple. I guess for now, let's go ahead and take a look at our technology. We have some points to spend. Why don't we spend a couple of these points? It looks like for ancient, we're almost done. I think we just have the level 3 lockpick, if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we do not need any more ancient technology points. That's it. Now, moving on to technology. I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock anything that is a weapon. And we've completely ignored everything that is decorative. So maybe anything that's super cool that's decorative will unlock. Something like that traffic cone. I don't know why it piques my interest. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Uh, the gate, that looks pretty cool. That frag looks pretty cool. The glass floor. The mine. Like I said, I, we have everything important at this point. That metal barrel looks cool. So we can just unlock things for fun. Metal chair looks cool. That looks cool. Uh, the frag looks cool. I don't need the stone gate. Mine looks cool. Yeah, we're kind of out of points now, so let's just unlock the metal shelf as our last one, and we'll probably be good. There is a surprising amount of things to unlock in this game, which is crazy. I feel like I found millions of books, but still we have so many decorative things to unlock. It's crazy. All right, so we got some missiles going. We got some nails going. All right, come on. This is kind of taking forever, but that's as it should be with such high-end, you know, items. I'm glad they kind of take forever. All right, we're almost done. Just a little sliver left. Cold resistant plus steel armor. Let's go ahead and require it. And let's compare it. 560 to 600. Six, so, is it a crazy amount better? No. Is it an upgrade? Yes. And that's the name of the game, is upgrades. Slowly but surely, we will upgrade. Okay, let's go ahead and put the schematics away, and it looks like our guided missile launcher is done. Now, let's see if my suspicions were correct. This is not the multi-guided one, which sucks for me because I was really hoping to get that one. Instead, I got this. Let's grab... Yeah, see, like, there's the multi... Uh, that sucks. Like I, I, I was really hoping there. But no, this is just a one shot. Not what we're looking for. This thing is weak. Alright, we're at church. Bless up. We're here to talk to the merchant to get the fourth accessory slot. So this will help us put in another either defense or health or something. So right now I have the plus two and plus one attack medals. Really, I could get the plus... Well, technically plus zero attack metal for another 5% on my attack, which for the next raids we will attempt, that is likely what I'll end up doing. Another day, another oil rig. Let's see what we got. Probably nothing good. But we really sh we should use some hopeful thinking here. All right. Oil rig chest number 50-ish. I don't know. Again, I don't know how many of these I'm actually showing you guys. There's so many I'm not putting on camera. Uh, okay. Hey, what's up, everyone? Like last video, technically two, I'm doing a whole bunch of breeding. And I'm doing it for kind of another set of pals. If you guys know, we've been working on the Blazamut Ryu, but I'm also working on the Bella Noir because I also want to do the libero and the ultra for that too meaning i need a chillet to ride on that also means i need better jet ragons so i'm doing those two and i'm trying to think of what else oh also you guys notice that i love just my normal blasomuts these are like my favorite because they're the best at mining and they're smaller than the jorman tide ignis so i love them for also cooking but all of mine are crap like terrible so, I'm also breeding up some hopefully good Blasomuts too. But, let's go ahead and head over because the hard part's done. I've done the breeding now. I've just got a whole crap load of eggs that we have to go through. And, hey, what's better than uh, just going through them together? 
Now, I have turned down the incubation to zero, and I know that's a little cheesy, but um, with the amount of eggs that I have, you know, it's kind of warranted. Also, if I don't want to spend my next decade playing this game. I think we're starting off with some Jorman Tides. So, the... Oh, okay, that's a good one. The other thing that I am doing is getting even more Jorman Tides, because if you guys remember... We did the Blazimut Ryu fight, and about midway through, I actually ran out of them. So I went ahead and I thought, hey, maybe I should breed some more. Also, a lot of the Jormantines that I do have, they are all uh, zero stars. They are not, uh, you know, compressed at all. Meaning I also need a few extra to compress into the good ones that I do have. So let's go ahead and get them. Okay, that's a second really good one. I think so far we have two that are usable. The other ones are iffy. More likely just fodder for the other ones. So, so far two decent ones. But I'm looking for like 10 to 15 really decent ones. Uh, so we have plenty to go through. But like I said, I have more eggs than you guys think. <laughs> Uh, because you guys might be wondering, oh, you've just got a couple of chests out. That's not too much. That is at this base, right? At this base, I've got two more bases where I'm also doing a lot of breeding. So we'll have to go through them all. Like I said, this is going to take a minute. Uh, the two videos ago when I was breeding my stuff, I did it off camera and I just did a time lapse. But I thought for this one, why don't I show you guys? It in action, right? So, what are we looking for? You guys might be wondering, what are we looking for? We're looking for Serenity. We're looking for Legend. We're looking for Ferocious. We're looking for Lord of the Sea. And then some other good ones is Impatient. Although, I don't think I have Impatient in the breeding pool. Where I probably should. But those are the ones we're looking for. So, oh, and lastly, Musclehead is the other one that we want to look for. What is the best combination? Probably, if I had to choose like my dream Jormantide, it'd probably be Legend, Serenity, Impatient, and then, uh, I don't know about the fourth, prob probably Ferocious, but that's kind of the ones that we're looking for, and most attack raid pals are going to want that same combination. So, when I'm doing the Jet Ragons, I'm going to still want the same things. I'm going to want Serenity. I'm going to want Impatient. Ferocious. Jet, Jet Ragon's going to be a little different. Uh, okay, see that one has Stronghold Strategist instead of Legend, so that's not great. The Jet Ragon's also going to have Divine Dragon to boost its Dragon Attacks. Okay, see that's another good one. So that one's going to be a little different. Legend, Ferocious, that's another good one. Lord of the Sea, I don't think is the greatest one but it's definitely not bad like it, it's not going to like let me say it this way it's not like a negative trait by any means okay okay i think that's all of my jorman tides when we come over here we'll get into my blasmets i don't know honestly i have so many eggs i've kind of lost track the other thing i did before this video off camera well, again, that's not good, is clear up my pal box a little bit because I'm, I needed a lot of room for these. But, you know, I needed a little room for compensation. See, I don't mind having the fourth as, like, the gray, but I really wish it was impatient instead of something like hooligan. But, again, not mad because I will always need fodder, Jormantide, so you can't. I can't really get mad at it. Legend. See, that one's alright. I don't like Runner there. You never... For a raid Pokemon, unless it's the rideable mount, you're not going to really want... See, right there, that's good, but it's missing Legend. It's also missing... It's missing a fourth, essentially. And a lot of you guys pointed out in the comments, once again, shout out Graham here. Uh, for the last Blasmut Ryu fight, I essentially need perfect pals. It's not one of those fights where... I can kind of be on the weaker side and squeak it out. I will need everything maxed. I will likely need, you know, a legendary quad launcher. I will need 
basically perfect pals, max level, boosted with souls. Um, so even though that one had three gold stats, I will not be bringing that one into a raid because it's just, it's wasted DPS and I'm going to need all the DPS I can find. So honestly, most of these are, aren't really that good. Now, I know my breeding could be maybe a little bit better. Like, I could... There might be a chance of me finding, like, a better combination of parents. Which, what's going to be nice now is since I'm breeding all these eggs, I will likely find a better match in these Jormantides, which is nice. That's another reason why, honestly, I was going to cook up more eggs, but then I said, wait a minute. Um, let me hatch these ones and actually try to get better parents so which which ones did i breed on this one i think okay so, now if we go over to the base the oil base i know for a fact here i have the jet ragons now these are going to be my attack raid jet ragons that we're going to be doing for bella bella noir and Bella Ultra, Musclehead, that's not good. That's also terrible. But once again, a little fodder never hurt anybody. But so far, these are trash can. Le okay, that one's... Oh, see, why am I informing? Legends, ah, these are... Yeah. I'm looking for ones with four good traits. Here's the parents. Oh, hello, mouse? Uh, Legend, Divine Dragon, Musclehead, Legend, Divine Dragon, Serenity. So I'm looking for Legend, Divine Dragon, Serenity, and Musclehead on the same pal. Not the best parents in the world, but I'm hoping that I can get two with those four perfect stats. And then I will take those two and breed them together to further increase my chances of making a good one. Vanguard would be good for... If I was riding it. But Vanguard is also terrible because I can't shoot off of the Jet Ragon. So Vanguard is also useless. Muscle at Serenity. Okay. Okay. That's one. That's one really good one. Now give me a second. And also please give me a second. Oh, crap. It's Workaholic. And then I will need a second. But it's also going to have to be the right sex. I'm going to need a male and a female. So if I get two males I'm kind of screwed still. Okay, let me grab all these. Yeah, I've got quite a few. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Terrible. So, again, one decent one so far. That is good, but I need a fourth, so not usable. I think once I get my second really good one and I can start breeding those two, I'll have a much higher chance of getting decent stuff. But right now, I'm getting a lot of random fourth traits. And I'm getting stuff like Sickly and Slacker, which is not useful in the slightest for me. Yeah, these, are, these aren't these are great. But all I need is a second. That's all I need. And then we're rolling. And Jet Ragon's hard. Uh, oh, close, but I had fine furs. If you guys don't know, Musclehead... Oh, okay. There's the second good one. Okay, good to... Okay, so we have two. I really should double check if they are male and female, if they're even compatible here. That's the important part. So this one is... Okay, and I've got to find the other one. Hello? See? Ah, they're both the same. That really sucks. They're both the same. Meaning, we're still looking for another one of the opposite sex here. Unlucky. What can I say? Unlucky. Now, the nice part is, at least one of the parents, I can give... I can swap out one of the parents for something that will slightly more increase my chance. See, again, workaholic. It, it, it baited me. I thought, ooh, work a, a, another yellow, but... No. Musclehead Legend Divine. Okay. There is another one. Now, please. What? Please be the opposite gender. Sex, I mean. 
Nope, same thing. Darn it, man. Why are they all coming out? The same sex. Bit frustrating, bit frustrating. Three of the exact same. Now, I don't mind it in one sense of that's three good ones for raids, but... I still, I need to get a, I need to get better parents for breeding because the, this breeding is not going very well because the parents aren't optimal. But if you guys don't know, and I don't know if this has been updated in the past patch, maybe I don't even know about it, but the only two, the only way to make a Jet Ragon is with another Jet Ragon, two Jet Ragons. So there, you can't breed other things into it. So essentially, you need to raid Jetragon until you get something with decent uh, traits. And then combine those traits the best way possible. And I'm almost there. I'm just looking for a second perfect. And I'd be there. Okay, there it is. Okay, hold on, please. This is where... Okay, that one is a weird mix of random things. Please, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed here. No, no. A fourth. Oh, that's so annoying. Look, if we hatch enough, one of these has to be decent. Here we go. We're just looking. Ooh, that one's good. Eh, I don't like that philanthropist. But, eh, yeah, I don't, I don't, actually, I say that I got excited and said that was good. But actually, it's not. it's not really that good. Alright, we're just looking for one more perfect one for a little breeding sesh. Come on, I believe. We will absolutely be able to pump out so many good Jet Ragons if we just get another good one here. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Something perfect. Give me Divine Dragon. Give me Legend. Give me Serenity. Give me Ferocious. Uh, um, not good. Oh, wait, wait. Serenity, Legend, Musclehead. Oh my god, two in a row. Yo, no way. Okay, come on, we got two. One of these has to get our right, dude. Let's go. That's it, bro. That's it. Look at that. Okay, so now we have officially. Two Jet Ragons that are perfect. Let's go ahead and move these around a little bit. Let's try to separate the ones that we know are good. And again, good means four perfect traits, not three. I might end up using some of them that have three good traits, maybe as backups. But for my main team, I want to be using all perfect team, which again... For me right now, that means Serenity, Ferocious, Legend, and Divine Dragon. If I was smart, I really would probably put Impatient on them too. But, uh, you know, it is better. You know, we'll try the fight. If I fail, then I will do the work to get ones with Impatient. But let's just see what we got. But yeah, look, we got that, and we got a, another perfect of both sexes, which is exactly what we need. Here we go. Let's go ahead and stick them in the breeding. And now, our production of perfect Jet Ragons is going to skyrocket. If this was the stock market, uh, we would be very bullish on this, right? We, we, we are about to start pumping out. No way something fell off my table. Live. Okay, yeah. We're going to be pumping out a lot of good Jet Ragons now. Now that we've got two perfect ones breeding. Let's stick in one more. Dude, okay, that's kind of nasty. We didn't get a lot of good ones, but we all th the last three have all been perfect somehow. Just crazy. What's the luck on that that the last three are all basically perfect? And also, for some reason, the, the Jet Ragons at this base just, like, get stuck. I know I should probably give the Pal Box a little bit more room at the beginning here, but... Yeah. I just got to move them manually, but it's okay. Once I stick them here, they tend to stay pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, there we go. How much cake? 
Okay, we will need to get more cake very soon. Like I mentioned earlier, right now I currently have that crystal base because I am still AFK farming some crystal, but we will make a breeding base very soon. Okay, everybody, let's go to the other base and finish up with the last of the breeding that I've done so far. This one, we are still focusing on the Bella Noir raid for the rideable. So just like how we rode the Azerope for the Blasma Trio because it applied water to my attacks, essentially increasing my attack for the Bella Noir, we want to be riding a dragon to put dragon damage to our attacks. So I started breeding some chillets. Again, we will be riding these chillets in the Bella Noir raids to increase our damage. Now, what are we looking for? We are looking for the same things that we are looking for as in the Azro, meaning Vanguard, because Vanguard increases the attack of myself while the pal is in my party. We're looking for Stronghold Strategist, because that'll increase my defense while the pal is in my party. Some other good things to have, something like Burly Body, to increase the defense of the pal so it doesn't die as quick. You guys got to remember, anytime, and someone said this also in the comments, I'm going to echo their sentiment here. Anytime I'm spending in the pal box, switching out teams, switching out my ride, that is DPS wasted. So Burly Body is going to give me more defense for my uh, pal to stay up longer. Other things that could help, things like Swift and Nimble, things like that. Anything that makes me faster, that will help me basically avoid attacks once again keeping me alive longer so the perfect chillet will have some combination of vanguard and stronghold that is a must and then anything like swift or burly body would also be pretty nice like i said really the 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 two must-haves vanguard and stronghold anything else is kind of a bonus but for the ultra fights, it's hard to say things like, oh, it's a bonus because you need to use everything at your disposal to win. So um, we will have to make sure to get at least four decent traits on everything, especially for the ultra fights. But I only need probably like five chillets, just like I had five as robes. Likely I only need one or two, but I'm going to make five just in case you never know what happens. So, it, this one I'm not going to have to breed like the Jormantides. The Jormantides, I'm, I, you know, I need 30, 40, 50. Uh, with these, I just need about 5. So, it's not too crazy. Likely, I already have everything that I need. Because I've seen a lot of them already with Stronghold and Vanguard. See, like, look. This one's... Yeah, look at this one. It even has Legend, which is super nice. Legend increases speed, too. So, that's pretty good. So one like that, although it has one wasted because what, what did it have? Celestial Emperor, which is a little bit of a waste, but I'll probably use that for the fight. But let's go through all the eggs. Like I said, I wanted to get all the eggs on camera. Stronghold, Legend, Vanguard. That one's not too bad. This is not good. I don't need Artisan. Um, no, okay, that one's alright, but again, kind of a wasted two. Serenity, Serenity's always pretty good too, Vanguard. Okay, not too bad. Just a few more eggs left. That's probably all the chillets that I need. Let's go to the box and take a look though, and maybe we can actually label them. And of course, condense them. That's another thing that I'll have to work on. These are the two pals that I was breeding, by the way. Uh, the Azerobe, because it already had a lot of things that I needed, along with a Gobfin Ignis. So if you guys are wondering, that's what I used. Gobfin, Gobfin Ignis with Stronghold already, along with the rideable Azerobe that I already had, just to make it easy. I was really glad that I could make Chillet with the Azerobe, because it just saved me so many steps on trying to find something with all of the you know the traits that i need so let's go through each one we will pull out anything that is decent it's so like this one burly body eh. yeah maybe, maybe i'll try to breed just a few more 
that are perfect. I have a lot of decent ones, but I am not seeing a whole lot of perfect ones. So you know what? We'll use these ones then. I think that'll be the best option moving forward here. Hey everybody, it's a few days later. We're going to start winding down this video. I think we're around 30 minutes. So, I want to show you something. I've been doing some grinding at the oil rig. I got the purple laser rifle, which is cool. Uh, the rare grenade launcher. The rare plus steel helmet. The rare quad missile launcher. And the rare flamethrower. So, nothing gold yet. And I think I've done probably near 50 to 100 of the chests. But we got some good things. We're going to go ahead and create those at the beginning of next video. For this uh, couple of minutes where we're going to wrap up, I just kind of wanted to do a summary of what's going on. So I'm working on breeding more Blasomuts, and this is where I actually would like some advice from you guys in the comments. I am breeding these Blasomuts for mining, but specifically, I guess, wild ore. So things like crystal, right? Work speed, I'm pretty sure, affects how fast they mine things from the farms, right? The ore farm, the logging, the sulfur, the coal farm. But work speed does not affect wild ores, things like crystals and wild geodes, I'm pretty sure, right? So, tell me what traits are best on a Blasomut that is specifically for mining, and then, I guess, differentiate it between mining things like this and mining things like crystal. What are the best traits? Currently, I don't have any good Blasomuts, so I'm just breeding random ones, hoping to get some good random traits, and we'll go from there. I'm also in the process of breeding good Orzerks. Let me see, actually, what I have so far, and what I'm currently breeding. So it looks like I just have two Lord of Lightning Orzerks. I'm just kind of waiting for random traits to pop up. And for the Blasomut, I have Musclehead, artisan and then just muscle head yeah so what i heard is for wild things like crystals that aren't like actual farms the best thing to put on them is like attack right because that's the amount of damage they'll apply to the crystal so i'm ble i'm breeding these guys to have artisan so they'll be good cooks but also something like muscle head so they can hit a little harder to mine the crystals faster again any advice would be appreciated Tell me the best traits for these guys uh, overall. And again, differentiate between normal mining and like crystal mining and also things like cooking. That would be wonderful. So anyway, that's what's going on over at this base. Over at the ore base, I currently don't have anything going on. I had Chillets breeding. But I don't think I have Chillets breeding here anymore. Let's take a look. No, so I'm kind of done with my chillet breeding. If we go over to my box, let's see what we got here. Uh, where are my chillets? Okay, we got the gob fins, which are nice. We'll have to utilize those. Okay, so yeah, it looks like I got a few chillets. So Vanguard, Stronghold, Burly Body, Vanguard, Legend, Stronghold. Uh, I'll just kind of scroll through these. So these are the ones that I currently made. The one that I'll be using as my main is Ride 4, which is this one. So this is, in my opinion, a perfect chillet. Legend, Burly Body, Strategist, and Vanguard. This is the perfect chillet, I think. Again, feedback in the comments. What do you guys think? I think this is a perfect chillet. If there's something better to replace Burly Body or Legend, feel free to let me know. But this is the one that I'll be riding into battle. So currently, I'm not breeding any more chillets because I think I have the perfect one. And then I also did get rid of the base up here. You guys know that we were mining crystal. I got rid of it. I was AFK for quite a few days. I moved it over here. Now, this might be a very random location. Uh, and it is. I found the first place that's flat. This is a temporary breeding base. So, I've got one, two, three, four ranches with cows and chickens. Uh, so, I can make some cake. I've got one breeding area here which i'm not currently well two actually which i'm not currently using because again right now i am just farming milk and eggs let's see do i have some i just emptied this place a little while ago so there's not a whole lot right now but just to give you guys an update the crystal base is now gone and now we have a breeding slash cake base for now and then lastly if we go over to the oil base 
I do have some more Jetragon breeding going. I'm still looking for more perfect Jetragon. So this is going to continue leave going breeding. I think that's really everything. Uh, those are all the things I'm working on. Along with, of course, I am still going to the oil rig every 30 minutes and popping those bad boys open, praying to God for the multi-legendary missile guided launcher quad thing. That is what we're looking for. Uh, what are my chances? Not good. Am I going to keep trying and being optimistic? Yes. All right. Like I said, next video, we'll start with making those. But guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully by the time next video rolls around, I'll have some really good Blazomuts. I'll have some really good Orzerks. And maybe we could try the Bella Noir. I, I am getting close to having enough, enough Jetragons and I have a Chillet. There is no reason why I can't start the next fight. I even have the fourth accessory slot so I can put another attack on there. I think we're in good shape to maybe try Bella Ultra. Maybe. Maybe. We'll give it a whirl. So guys, I'm going to end this video off here. Thanks for watching.